so hello guys so basically in this video of around model 5.0 we will be seeing how, what are all the improvements around the course management okay so let me first uh, check seek the environment details so that we'll have idea here so currently i am sitting here on 5.0 and you see the model 5.0 plus that and the build is 17th april so now i will quickly come to the course management so course is uh, my subjects in my case here so i have renamed that name and category is subjects okay so don't get confused between the words okay so, so this is basically the course and the category so here within this category i have created a course i just created for the demo purpose so that it save your time and if I come under view, we'll see some improved interface here. And again, if you go back on the previous page, you'll also see some nice page design. You see or in earlier version, you see some broken kind of thing here on this page, but now they have fixed. Okay. So if I come to view, and I can see here the activity, uh, the new additional button added here. And if I click on this activity button, I can. So this is something the model have added in 5.0 activity overview report. So within this activity overview report, we have all the activity collected. In case you have the assignments, we we'll have here the list of assignment within this assignment category. Then in case you have the forums that will appear within these forums. So in case you have resources, all the resources will come under this. Got it? So here I have added one assignment. You see, if you go back here on this course page, you can see the assignment is one added. I have added here the new assignment. And if I click on this activity overview report and then under assignment section, I can see that this is the new assignment and due date and the submissions. So I also tried submitting from one of the student and you see I have in all the two students within this. So two participants you can see here as a learner and one of them have submitted so submission you see like this and available for grade you see here that it will redirect you here. Yeah. So whatever the count is, is submitted, you see the grades one. And if you click here, it will send you the same page earlier. It was uh, coming here from the grades. So under grades, we'll have to come here. I will have to click this, then the submissions. Okay. So if you compare this page and the, this page, you'll find the both are the same. But now the Moodle have reduced some clicks, you see, right? And, and if you see the breadth from here, there is no changes within that. So even from this, whatever you have click, I have come here, came here from uh, the activity overview report. But if I click here, it will send me here on this assignment okay so they have not made improvement around this breadth ground okay so it is working as earlier it was again in this video we'll also see what the, what are the features of these filters okay so again let me tell you uh, so this is not the release of the 5.0 so this is coming from the older version but we'll see how and how it works and for what purpose it has been given here i come back to this course listing page so course view page basically you say and you see here and under more you see i guess everything is older not older so filter is added and you'll find the filter like this so filters setting in course sample this this is the course name so these are the course level filter you can uh, adjust if required okay so display of h5p is on activity name auto linking is 
on or not so by default it's on in my case so these are the filters and so this is the context level filter. that means the course context level will have the filter options so let me go back here to see the url yeah so under more i can see the filters so then i will go back here on the courses and i will try going within additional another course and let me come to the filters okay so you see here the url gets changed so that means each and every filter will have now control over the course within the course you can set up everything whatever is coming here like the filters okay so that's it from this video thank you thank you for watching and have a great day